Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so we're testing out the Luxi camera once again, except this time I'm wearing it on my ear, kind of like a Bluetooth, and it looks like a phone, and it actually works as a phone, but I'm using it as a video camera, and I'm looking into my iPhone, just so we can see, so I can see what I'm recording, that's how it works, so you look in your iPhone, and you kind of go like that, and hold on, there you go, and so that's what I do, I look at it, and I can point out, the camera and what I want to record, but I want you guys to see how it looks on my ear, which is why I'm standing here. Okay, I hope you got a good idea there. The other thing is, I'm shooting in a high quality setting, which, you know, compared to the few times before where I posted videos, it was in um, the web, what they call web quality. And what I'm going to do today is try to make this recipe that I came across online, as you can see. These are bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers. So it, it's jalapeno poppers stuffed with cheese and wrapped in bacon. Except I'm gonna grill some chicken on my balcony and see if and that here's works. Chicken, the chicken's been marinating in some habanero pineapple and green chili sauce, and I patted it down to remove all the moisture. And now what I'm gonna do is here's my grill. This is an electric grill because they wouldn't allow me to have any gas or charcoal on this balcony, but it works just as good. So what I'm gonna do first is this. I'm gonna put some olive oil on the grill. The grill has been heating up. You can see the heat. It kind of flames up. But then it goes down. And then, I'm going to put the chicken on it. Check that out. And I put them here because when I turn them over, I'm going to put them on this side because it's going to retain its heat. And I'm going to close the lid. Okay, so we're going to turn this around. And I already turned it around once. You can see the grill marks there. And I'm cooking it not on high, kind of on medium high. I'm going to cook it some more so it won't be raw on the side. Okay, so here are the ingredients. While the chicken is cooking, we have the um, cheddar cheese, some cream cheese, the salsa verde, which is really good. This is my favorite right here. And some, some Oscar Mayer bacon. And this is supposed to have no nitrates. So it's supposed to be better. So now I'm going to put the bacon in. And I've been cooking this. I've been heating this up. I had this um, cast iron skillet broiling at 445. And I'm going to put the bacon in there for a little bit. I'm not going to cook it entirely because it's going to be cooked again when it's wrapped. But I'm going to cook it a little bit. Let's see if we can make some room here. What this does is the heat has already heated up the skillet. So it's going to cook from the bottom, but it's also cooking from the top, because the heat's coming from the top. That's actually the best way to cook bacon. So it looks like the bacon has been cooked a little bit. And then obviously we can cook it more, but we're going to put it back in the oven for 15 minutes once we wrap it around the jalapenos. So I'm going to take that out for now. Let's take a look at that. Okay, now we're cutting out the jalapenos. And I'm wearing gloves, and I recommend anybody who cuts jalapenos to wear gloves because it burns. So we're supposed to split them in half. I'm just reading the recipe here. And what I'm going to do is wash out the seeds. Okay, so what I have here in front of me is the mixture of cheeses and the salsa verde in a Ziploc bag, and beneath that are the jalapenos. And the recipe calls for me cutting a little hole here in the Ziploc bag and to use this kind of like a pastry bag thing where you just kind of squeeze it on there. And I've never done that before, so hopefully it'll work out. But I'm just going to do a little hole here, a little cut here. And I'm trying to keep this camera focused as well, so... If I go up, you know, if I if I stutter or if I just hesitate it's because I'm trying to do this thing here with an iPhone and not get my iPhone full of food either. Okay, there you go. See that? That looks pretty cool. This looks pretty good. I like this idea. Oh shit! Oh shit! 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 Well, one lesson is. Which obviously is my first time, and look what just happened. Yes, 
I forgot to zip the Ziploc baggie. <laughs> well, that's the lesson learned. So there you go. So I forgot to zip it from the top, and it came out, and it came all over my shoe and the floor. So I'm going to stop it. Okay. So I cleaned my little mess up, and I finished filling these jalapenos with cheese. And they look good to go, but I'm going to cut this chicken up and see how that works. I'm going to cut them up in little slices here, as you can see. And this chicken is really good. I actually use this on salads. And most of the time, I just put it on the salads, and this is my meals. Lean protein. I'm putting a little bit of chicken in there in each one. Then I'm going to wrap. See what I'm doing is like I'm taking a little slice of chicken. I'm just tearing it apart here. And I'm just stuffing it in there. Because I really like the taste of, of the chicken and the bacon and the cheese together. I only made a small batch because this is what I actually had. And I, I was just, I'm experimenting here. So in case I want to invite somebody over. And I'll have the recipe down. Because I don't like to experiment um, while I have guests over. Because then it always comes out screwed up. And, you know, the shit falls all over the floor and whatever. Okay, so now we're wrapping the bacon. As you can see. And I'm going to stick a toothpick in it. Maybe even two toothpicks. Just to keep it in place. See, you got that? See how that looks? Okay, that's before it cooks. I'm going to put it here in a pan. And I'm going to keep wrapping so obviously I didn't have enough bacon. I should have prepared more. So this is all I have right now. And I have those leftover jalapenos <clears throat> and all those leftover chicken. But that's okay. This is just an experiment. And I'm going to put these in the oven at 350. And it says for 15 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes because I checked at 15 minutes and they needed to cook, be cooked some more. And as you can see, I threw in the other jalapenos as well. The ones that did not have bacon because I had run out of bacon. And they look very good. And I'm going to let them cool down and taste them. They smell really good.